we have status bar plugin. The status bar appears on the top of a phone gap application and it is also a configurable part in config.xml. It's an essential part of an application but nowadays since the applications have to be full screen and end to end we need to style it according to the environment the application is visible on. So it is useful for us to configure the status bar based on the application display and application UX. We may want to show it or hide it or we may want to even style the status bar. So this is an essential plugin as well because we don't want to give the user a bad user experience. Let's begin the hands-on with the phone gap status bar plugin. In order to install the plugin, we are going to run the following command in the command line. Once we hit enter, we should see this plugin being added to our config.xml. In order to install this plugin, we are going to run the following command in our terminal. This will create a dependency in config.xml. Let's go and have a look. Yes, we have phone gap status bar installed. Now, let's have a look on how we can use this. Let's run this first on an emulator. We are going to create a sample run command. Now, in order to see the status bar, we need to define it in config.xml. We are going to add reference name status bar overlay web view value equal to true. This will enable the status bar inside our application. We can also use another preference to color the background color. We can go ahead and say Let's generate a background color. We are going to pick the color red so that it's prominent. We are going to place it here. Now let's run our application. This is the emulator guys. So as we can see, this is our status bar. Status bar is a bar which contains battery, network, Wi-Fi and SIM and time information. So the topmost bar that you see is the status bar. Now this is something that we may want to show or hide or color something else depending on our application which we can do and we are going to show you how. We are going to create a button. Another button for hide. Going to have on click. Once this is done, let's go ahead and say our JavaScript file. So again, this function is only available after device ready. It does not mean that we have to execute the commands in device ready, but yeah, it cannot be executed before the device is ready. 
so this is the app object actually you can go ahead and define a own function Now, this is defined right now, and what we'll do is we'll take the API of status bar, the plugin reference, and call it over here. Again, the global object that gets generated is status bar object. We are going to create one more function. Probably we should say alert it out rather than returning because we don't have interest in the return value right now. So, hide here. Let's go ahead and the third button as well. Okay. We have to add the function. Now, let's go ahead and run to stop the application that has been running on the emulator it has not yet stopped sometimes you might encounter this difficulty let's rerun it so we have got the three buttons show hide and is visible let's go and click is visible first yes it is visible let's click hide status bar it goes and hides the status bar. Let's click show status bar. It shows us the status bar. So a pretty simple functionality, yet it is handy one. We can also change the color of the, of the status bar programmatically. We can also add styles to the status bar and add that style configuration in the config.xml. So there is plenty of things that we can do. Let us change the color of status bar. What I am doing is we have a random hex generator that we have used and we can go ahead and use the status bar plugins function we are going to use status bar dot background color by hex trim and pass in random color let's give it a go I hope it works So this is our phone right now. Let's wait for it to load up. We are going to change the color randomly. So a good business use case can be like if we still want to show it but we want to show it as a part of an application we may color it as per our background uh, of the application so this is all about status bar in phone gap hope you enjoyed it thank you